This is actually a card idea that Stampin' Up! shared with us as something that was quite suitable for uh, catalog launches or something quite quick and easy to do. And this is our finished project. So I've actually added a little bit more than what um, Stampin' Up! suggested, but it's still a fun, easy, cute idea. So we're using this stamp set called Prized Peony, or it might be Prized Peony. I think it depends where you're born or what you were taught, maybe what country you grew up in, but I think either pronunciation is acceptable, but still, I feel awkward. I don't know which one I'm supposed to say, but it's it's that one. And this one does have a really beautiful die set that uh, coordinates with it, but for this project, we're just going to use stamps, ink, and paper. So let's get started. Um, I've got just a standard A4 card base, Whisper White Thick, and I have then a card front size of the prized peony or peony paper. So I think I cut that to about four by five and three quarters. I just cut my card base so it was a nice easy measurement. Or you can cut it down um, just a little bit smaller than your card front if you want to have a little bit of a border. So I'm going to try using tonight the new Stampin' Seal. Now I have not practiced with it so I don't really have it totally perfected. But from what I've read online, um, you need to put it on and maybe just make sure that it breaks. So maybe just a little flick at the end is what I'm going to do. Um, as I play around with it, we might find a little better technique or a different way, but um, it seems to be very sticky, which is a good thing. And then just for a little bit extra, you could use some white ink on the edges or even some darker ink, but I'm just going to take a little piece of sandpaper or a nail file, something like that, and just go around the edges, if you like that. Not everybody likes to have their projects look a little distressed, but I just like that extra little bit of color. Now you not, might be thinking, why didn't you just leave a white mat? Well, this just adds, it's just a little, that little bit more interesting. So it's just what, whatever style that you like. So then for our stamping portion, so this piece is about mm, three by four inches. Oh, I actually have a ruler right here. So I'll give you, it is, yep, three by four. Oh, that was a really good guess three by four inches, and I'm gonna use basic gray, and we're gonna stamp this big, beautiful image here on there. Now I found with this ink that it stamps out really dark and then kind of lightens as it dries. So we'll stamp it one direction this way, and then the other direction down here at the bottom. So nice. Oh, I missed a little bit, but that's all right. That's going to get covered by our words. And then I did create a little mat with the petal pink that would obviously be four and an eighth by three and an eighth because it's just a little tiny bit bigger than this piece. And we'll put that on with our seal, Stampin' Seal, sorry. And I see that these cases feel quite a lot bigger, so it's a little nicer in your hand and it holds a lot more tape. So the price is a few dollars more, but I think it actually contains more as well. Okay, so we'll put those on. And then before we put that on, I'm going to put my, um, add my ribbon. So I'm using that polka dot tool, which is becoming a fast favorite, to be honest. Um, really good. I can't find my good scissors, but these are right here, so we'll just use those. And I'm just going to wrap that around about in the middle, or where those two flowers, um, where there's a gap between the two flowers. Okay, and then we just add a little bit of tape on the back to hold down our ribbon. Okay, and then we'll put that on with dimensionals. And someone was asking me the other day, I guess they watch other people who just flick off the dimensionals with a little picky tool, but I found if you press in the middle of them with your fingernail, then the edges just pop up. Sorry, now I'm stuck, stuck to myself. And then they just flick off all by themselves. 
like they just um, come off. Okay, that's a little tip for people who don't have maybe a lot of fingernail. Okay, and we'll put that on. And then I think I'll go ahead and do my bow at this point. So this remaining piece of tulle, I'm just going to slide under that one. Hopefully you can see this. I know it's very, like, trans not transparent. It's very fine, so it might be harder to see this tulle. But I'm finding this ribbon kind of goes with, with everything because it is so fine. Okay. All right, and then we'll just trim those ends neatly. You could leave the ribbon off if you wanted to do, if you were doing like a whole lot of these, um, but it just adds a little something. And then for our words, uh, I have a little like one by three inch strip of another print out of that pack. And we'll just do the love and thanks to a dear friend that also comes in that stamp set. And we're just gonna tear that end. And you always want to tear towards yourself, so I did, um, if you want to get that little edge there showing. And then we'll just adhere that to the gray piece, which is just a little bit wider. And then, hello, Emma. And then we will just tear that edge as well. Okay. Then we'll just put... Put that one on with dimensionals as well. And then just slip that in. And it's all right if this doesn't quite, um, I mean, if it goes off the card or if it's a little bit asymmetrical. Well, it doesn't bother me. Hopefully it wouldn't bother you either. And then you can just move your bow however you want it to be there. And then what I, I wanted to add, just a little bit of sparkle. I think sparkle never really goes amiss. So just do a couple there and then one kind of down there to balance it out. And then inside the card, I just did another layer of the basic gray and then an, the flower again. You could add words in there as well. So many thanks to Stampin' Up! who gives us these great ideas. I just added a little bit more to it to um, just add a, a little bit of my my own signature on it, but it's just a really quick, easy, but still attractive card that you can make in no time. So try that in some different color combinations and give that prize peony stamp set a try as well as the stamp and seal. So this is Jackie Williams. Thanks for watching. Have a look at my website or through my Facebook page. You're obviously all on my Facebook page, but um, you're welcome to go check out my website as well for even more ideas and inspiration. So it's stamphappy.co.nz or .co.nz if you are North American. All right. Have a good rest of your evening, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.